Hello my beauty. So today I'm gonna to show you my 10 minute morning makeup routine. This is when I'm going to work or it could be for when you're going to school and when you don't have a lot of time. Let's get to it. So first I'm gonna use my Andalou CC cream. And this is, I've already done my skincare and I'm just gonna put a little bit. And normally I just put this on but I'm going to put a little bit of this with it. It's, a, it's another CC cream, but a little bit more coverage. And you can mix and match, um, or you could just use this one if you need a little bit more coverage. But I'm gonna be outside today, and this one's gonna be a 50. So I wanna have a little bit more sunscreen. I'm gonna use this mirror over here. So you can put this on with the beauty blender too, but when I'm in a hurry, I just put it on with my fingers, just spread it all around. Make sure to get it hairline, put it over my eyelids, down the neck, and then I just kind of like push it into the pores. Kind of like mimicking a beauty blender. All right, that step's done. Now I'm gonna do this uh, stroke of light um, by Bare Minerals Concealer. This one's really nice and light. So I just put it in the inner corners and just like a little bit there because it's a bit dark there for me. And here because it's a little bit red sometimes. And I just like to contour these areas. And I just Blot this in with my fingers. When I'm going out, I use a beauty blender, but when I'm in a rush, hands work just fine. Just make sure your hands are clean. All right. Let it dry. And now I'm gonna put on the Laura Mercier um, setting powder. And I just put a tiny bit of this. I use the same blush brush for everything when I'm in a hurry. So I just kind of put a little bit here and then just dab the tiniest bit under my eyes and kind of on my T-zone. And that just helps everything last all day. Okay. Next up is bronzer. So this is Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I just got it. And I just put it kind of where the sun hits me. Kind of put it up, work it into the ear. So I find if you have a nice, good base, you look good. So it really makes a difference just having a bit of bronzer and CC cream and blush on. Just put a little bit here. I'm gonna put my bangs down so you can't see it anyway, but. Really blend it all in to the neck. And I like to get the tip of the brush and just use it as an eyeshadow too. Do, do, do. Okay. Now this is my Milani blush and what's called Luminoso. It's really nice and peachy. So get that. And you wanna go more up. You don't wanna go down here. You wanna lift the cheeks up. And this one is a little bit shimmery, so 
you know, it's not for everybody, but I think it's really pretty. And I got this LA Girl contour for like a dollar at CVS. And I like to just put the dark one just under my nose to make it kind of go up a little bit. And then a little bit here to kind of make my face not look so long. <laughs> and just work it around here. Keeps your jawline sculpted. All right. Oh, and with the blush, I like to put a little bit on my eyes too. See how pretty that is? Kind of gives you that monochromatic look. Um, but I am going to put a little bit of eyeshadow. Um, it's this Too Faced palette um, chocolate bar and salted caramel right here. And you can tell that's the one I love the most. And I just put a little bit extra, just a tiny bit, in the crease. And, and I just do it with like a little fluffy brush. And then I have this Stila brush here. I really like this end. And I get that same color. And I bring it down here. Right. Then I get a angled brush and I kind of lick it. <laughs> and then I get the color triple fudge, this really dark, dark, dark brown one. And I find it needs to be a little bit wet. If I'm in the bathroom, I'll just wet it. But I'll just grab my eye and just bring it out a little bit. So it's kind of like a wing but not a wing and just go along I just do the outside just to elongate the eyes and just gives a little dimension and it's super fast and easy like with a normal liquid eyeliner it takes a long time because you gotta perfect it so now on to brows so I like to brush them first, I'm trying to grow them out. And I have this e.l.f. I don't even know what color this is. It's like the blonde one, basically. And it has a little spoolie. Brush them out. And I just kind of trace my brow first and darker on the edges and I try not to go too down here I want the eye to lift up and try to trying to make them as even as possible because nobody's brows are totally even Okay, and then I have another one. This is the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow. And this one is in top. And this one's just a little bit lighter. So I like to go in and like little hair strokes to fill that in. I really wanna find a brow um, product that <laughs> I just can use one. Maybe I'll try the Anastasia one. All right. Then I've got the Great Lash. It's um, clear mascara, basically. Super cheap. And just kind of set it. Doo -doo -doo. There we go. Now for mascara. This is just a cheap e.l.f. Um, curler. I don't really like it, actually. <laughs> I guess it works. I just got it. OK. 
hair. I always like to curl my lashes. I feel like it makes such a big difference and it separates them. Um, this is Youngblood Black Mascara. This is a mineral makeup. Uh, it's, I like to put the mineral one on first because that's what's like touching my hair and my skin. Uh, and then I'm gonna put another one on after because I don't know, I haven't found a mineral mascara that I really like. Oops. So when I'm in the mirror, I have the mirror kind of below me and I'm looking kind of down. Or else <laughs> they get on my eyelid. Try to keep my eyes shut as much as possible. And you can even wiggle it a little bit. Darn it. <laughs> Guys. Hard. All right. Um. Now I'm gonna do the bottom. Just very light strokes. All right, that mascara. Now I'm gonna use this one, the Colossal. Uh, it just helps to separate them a little bit more. I always use two mascaras. Always. I haven't found one. I'm like, oh yeah, that's it. I just need one. I do a lot of strokes, but I really think that makes them look better. And then a little trick I do is flick them out on the sides. So you can't even really see that wing that I did, but it just looks defined and it makes my eye look a little bit more elongated. You don't want them to look clumpy. So that's why I like to brush them out a lot. And flick it. Okay. So the bottom is hard because really Flick them out, and I don't re dip it. All right. All right, what else? Lips. Oh, I forgot highlighter. So, this is a mini Becca highlighter, champagne pop. And I put it here because my face is narrow so I just want to help that pop out so I put it here and then I'll course on my cheekbones not too much and then I get my finger and I put a little bit in the corners there we go just makes you look more awake and then I put a little bit on the tip of my nose so it kind of makes your nose look like popped up and then I put a little bit here there boom okay lips lip stuff I always love lip liner so lip liner here what is this one called all natural by Milani so just fill my lips in I've been using lip liner since high school. I'm obsessed. I don't see how people can just put lipstick on just by itself. You gotta line it. Okay. I kind of fill it in too. Boom, boom, boom. And then I put a little bit of, um, you know, chapstick on. And then this is Youngblood Malt. 
This is a mineral makeup. And then I just go over the edge again. It's a way to like overline your lips using a darker color. Then I have Buxom Devious Dolly. This is kind of like to make it a little bit more pinkish. And then what I like to do is just like rub it in with my finger. And that is it. Looks pretty good. Um, definitely um, quick and easy by doing that little trick with the um, blush on your lids and the bronzer on your lids too. So I hope you enjoyed and let me know if you want me to do more videos like this and if you want me to do maybe like a nighttime look and I'll see you later. Thank you.